Hi, this is Stacy Chalemi, and I'd like to know, what's worse, the physical pain or emotional pain of epilepsy? Struggling to cope with an emotional pain of epilepsy, an invisible disorder that many people struggle to live with on a daily basis. When you go on Facebook and you look up people with epilepsy, you'll find hundreds of people sharing their pictures of bruises or broken bones that they endured while having a seizure. Or they'll share a paragraph or two telling others about the seizure they experienced and the physical pain they acquired from it. My heart goes out to them all because each time I read one of these messages on Facebook, I can relate to them because at some time in the course of my life, I experience what they are experiencing now. I've experienced concussions, acquired a hematoma on my head by falling head first on the ground. I've gotten broken bones. I've acquired many cuts and bruises. I almost drowned in a bathtub. I have cracked my head open on a sidewalk. I have permanent memory loss from my concussions. I've even experienced several near-death experiences. And the list goes on. But I'm not here to ask for sympathy or to have others recognize the extent of hardship that I endured. Because honestly, everyone goes through something. Everyone goes through tragedy and someone experiences pain in their life at some time or another. My question to you is what's more painful, the physical pain we endure or the emotional pain experienced from the tragic event that occurred? When I look back on the course of my life and I think about all the things that I've gone through in my life because of my epilepsy, tears begin to fill my eyes. I have acknowledged that broken bones heal hematomas eventually go away, and other physical pain caused by my seizures eventually heal too. However, the emotional pain I have received in my lifelong journey with epilepsy will never go away. I would be lying if I said that it did. It's embedded in my heart and will remain there the rest of my life. So me personally, I truly believe that the emotional pain is much worse than the physical pain we endure from a seizure. But what I do know, just like with any painful event, the emotional pain will never leave us. So we must learn how to cope and move on. Just like when someone we love passes, the pain from that loss will never go away. But we learn to cope with the loss and then we move on. If you don't move on, then you'll live the rest of your life in misery and depression, and that's no way to live life. Living with epilepsy every day of your life is tough. For many who've had a disability, they tend to hold on to their emotions inside. The emotions that develop tend to build up inside them until they are unable to deal with their emotions any longer. When you ignore your emotions and hold on to your emotions inside, you set yourself up where you can easily fall into depression. This can happen when one focuses on the negative aspects of their disability and by pitying themselves. Living with epilepsy can be difficult if you do not accept the disability into your life. You must first realize that there is no such thing as a perfect person. We triumph each day of our life, trying to master how to solve the daily troubles that come our way and how to overcome the problems that have already occurred in our lives. You need to grasp the notion that no one on this planet is perfect and that there is no need to feel a sense of embarrassment because you have epilepsy. If you look into any person's closet, you'll find plenty of secrets and imperfections. Overlooking your problems and not dealing with them is an easy way out. Yet to face your epilepsy and the pain that it's caused is an accomplishment. Accepting our problems and dealing with them helps us to grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. One should not feel ashamed 
because they have a disability. When I opened up telling people about my disability, I was shocked to find out how many people had some disability or knew somebody who had epilepsy. People fear what they don't know. Many individuals are uneducated about epilepsy and look at people who have epilepsy different. I believe God puts obstacles in our lives to strengthen us. When we are young, we have people in our lives that help mold us. They help develop the strength, wisdom, and knowledge that we need to survive in this world. Yet, if we become dependent on these people, we cannot survive and live the productive life that God has given us on this earth to enjoy. You must realize that everyone is on earth for a reason. We need to pass on what we have learned along to others. I believe it's just selfish and pure laziness when we pity ourselves because we have epilepsy. You need to take your problems and learn how to cope with them so you can help other people. There is no reason why you should not live a happy and healthy life just because you have epilepsy. You need to accept your epilepsy into your life and look at it positively. To do this, you need to open your heart and feel what your emotions are trying to tell you. Your heart will never lie to you because the heart holds the truth. You need to develop courage so you can deal with the pain that lives in your heart. Usually, when we choose to hide things about ourselves, it is because we are embarrassed about whatever we are trying to hide. You should not be ashamed of having epilepsy. People with epilepsy are coming out in the open every day. They are learning to talk about the problems in their lives. And at the same time, these people are educating society and healing the scars that lie in their heart. Always remember, we cannot change the past. So there is no point to dwell on what we can't change. We must positively focus on the present. Doing this, you will create a happy, healthy, and productive life for yourself. The stigmatism still remains in our society. However, it is improving tremendously as many organizations and corporations have approached me, asking me for help, asking what can we do to help break the stigmatism of epilepsy in our society. Companies and organizations in the United States that have the power to initiate change are acknowledging the problem and the importance of solving it. They are asking advocates to help them solve it. We have more sponsoring groups and research studies than ever before. People with epilepsy need to learn to accept what they have and learn to do something about it. Nothing is going to get better unless you learn to help yourself and help others. The bottom line is, everyone with epilepsy suffers both emotionally and physically from the disorder. The emotional pain can destroy you if you let it. The only way to move on is to focus on your strengths and to look at life positively. I'm not giving up on you, so you shouldn't give up on yourself. I hope you liked this epilepsy video and I hope you got something good out of it. I'd like to know, what do you think? What's worse, the physical pain or emotional pain of epilepsy? Leave it in the comment box. I'd love to know your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can hear more great videos like this one.